Okay. Rather than grabbing it here in my fingers, yeah. I'm putting the wrist right over the top. Okay. And then it's on here, on that fat pad, not on the bone, but it's definitely not in the fingers. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, put, yeah, yeah, push it right into there. Push it right into there, good. And then, there. There you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, okay. you'll do one today. Just close, thumb to chest, yeah. Thumb to chest, gotta get your thumbs to your chest. There, good, rest. Thumb to chest, if you get, we need to get here so we can transition through. Yeah, if you only come to there, sorry, if you only come to here, you're not going to be forward enough to, to come into that dip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, even oh, if yeah. you touch, now drop in deep, 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 slowly, slowly, deeper, 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 deeper. When you press out, keep them close. Keep them close. There you go, easy. Right. Yeah, but <laughs> don't go out there. Yeah, yeah. As you get better, you can go out there, but you've never, you've never used them before. It's that instability. You know, I so said at the beginning when we were doing the thing, and we went, oh, tools and lockers, split it, and everyone's going, boring. Like, it's, it just shows you there. Boom. Yeah deep ring dips yeah so the transition is going from the top of a pull-up whilst maintaining false grip and then pushing your chest between the rings to the bottom of that deep dip the easier it becomes when you go high from your pull and deep from your dip that makes sense yeah um now any football fans london must have loads of football fans yeah. yes right so what i like to imagine is I'm heading a football. So, um, sorry, let me, uh, band behind you. So put it through, hand on the inside, through, hand on the inside. Put your hand on top, don't tiny knots, anything fancy at all. Just put your hand on top and don't let go. It's not gonna go anywhere. Then I sit on the band. I then come down into my false grip position. And just because we're low on the floor, or we're low to the floor, we're just gonna be in a bit of an L sit position. But I'm gonna go thumb to chest, and then imagine I'm heading a football and take uh, advantage of the gap between them. Bah! There, then you're there. Just give you a little. Through. Yeah, I didn't do anything then. I promised I didn't do anything. Have a little, have a swap over. Right, Zach, let's put my money on the line now. Keep the rings close to you. Head that football. Come on, pull hard. Hey! Go on, Jim. Pull hard. Go on, go on, go on. Yes! Number three. In less than three minutes. I wish it, it won't be like this for flag, but. There's another world record. Go on! Yeah! Four! <laughs> Who's going next? It's the, yeah. the false grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I struggled with. Just, have you done it with the band? Uh, yeah. Did you get through with the band? Uh, uh, so I think what they call it in, um, in bowling is the golden turkey, isn't it? You only get three strikes in a row. Well, we just had, was it five? Five ring muscle ups after a row. Bang, bang, bang. We just taught they're just those simple things like full script pull up, nice and high. Um, then doing the last part, the dip, but deep ring dips. And then just piecing the transition together using the band. And then it was like, it feels like magic. I'm buzzing. Um, but five of the, like it wasn't even like what, like five people went bang, bang, bang. Jim had been to a workshop before a few months ago, didn't get it, saw other people doing it, but he got it now. Um, so yeah, we're just buzzing.